Hello traders, this is Casey Stubbs from Winner's Edge Trading. I just want to welcome you today and say hello. I wanted to give you a quick update on some scalping techniques. I've been getting a lot of emails lately about people asking about scalping, so I thought I'd film this short video to help you guys out. So, uh, once again, my name is Casey Stubbs, and you can email me anytime or check out my website at winnersedgetrading.com. You can go to my website and sign up for my newsletter. I would appreciate that. And you'll get a lot of good videos, training videos, and also trade setups. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel to get video updates via that method as well. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the very first thing you want to do when you're scalping the market is you want to try to identify the long-term trend and when you do that it will help you trade in the right direction so scalping is short-term trades but you still want to go with the trend because that will carry your profits to longer and bigger levels so today I'm looking at the euro dollar and currently you can see that we're in an uptrend here and the price pulled back and now we're headed back up again this is a four-hour candle and a four hour had a bullish close so I would say that we are currently going long so I want to look for long trades so now the next thing I want to do is now that I've identified the trend so step one is identify the trend step two is to wait for a pullback on a lower time frame and then go in the direction of the trend so you can see this is now a five minute chart on the same pair uh, we've identified the trend is going up so now I want to look for pullbacks and go long on a pullback now you can see here that we had a couple opportunities right here when we first identified that the pair was going up we had a pullback right here okay here's the first pullback and then you get a bullish candle closing higher than the previous high and then you have a long trade and this would have been a profitable trade if you would have gone in right about here it would not have stopped you out you could have gone in and made some pips right there about 10 pips on that trade and that's the whole idea of scalping to get 10 pips here 5 pips here 3 pips and it just adds up and at the end of the day you have a lot of pips um, scalping is not for everyone I want to give you that caution that some people are not suited for scalping but some people are you have to be very attentive and you have to not leave your charts so right here is another pullback that we had you can see the price moved down four red bars but the trend was intact we had the support level you can see right here this support level did not get broken so we had a bounce off of this support and the we had a bullish engulfing candle which would have been my entry signal which was right here so my entry on a five minute scalp trade would have been 138.60 and right now it went all the way up to 138.90 or 139 actually so we're looking at a 40 pip quick scalp very easy uh, very easy to do if you're practiced and trained at it it's not I'm not saying it's easy to make money trading I'm just saying it's a simple concept to understand uh, trading takes a lot of practice and discipline alright so right now we have a pullback beginning on this five minute chart and it could go back a little bit more to this moving average and generally when we see a pullback the farther back it is the better 50% of the move is a nice pullback so if it went back to 138.75 that would be another great place to get in long however on when it's a strong uptrend like we are currently in right now that potential might not ever happen it might not ever go to a 50% retracement so you just have to get in when this signal occurs so at this time we're down two bars in a row and what I would be looking for for an entry would be a close above this pair uh, above this previous candle so if it closed above this point 139.08 I would go long uh, however I would not be that would not be the ideal situation the ideal situation would be for the pair to retrace down to this moving average or even down to the 50 percent level to this support right here 
So uh, I'm not going to go ahead and wait on take a trade here because we're limited on time. I could be waiting a long time for a setup, but that just takes patience and that's what trading is all about. So once again, I want to thank you for watching the video. I hope it's been enjoyable to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on this blog post or you can email me at caseystubbs at winnersedgetrading.com. However, I prefer it on the blog because that way everybody can enjoy the comment and get some benefit out of it. And while I'm here, let me go ahead and add the website just so you can see exactly what it is. It's uh, http colon slash slash www dot winners edge trading dot com forward slash forex underscore blog winners edge trading forex blog right here winners edge trading dot com forex blog so thank you for participating and i hope to see you again and feedback is very important to me so please leave your comments and questions all right well have a great weekend um, happy trading bye